Rural geography is a diverse subfield of human geography and is described as a study of people, places, and landscapes in rural areas and the social and economic processes that shape the rural lifestyle. The more traditional areas of emphasis in the rural geographical research are agriculture, resource management, land use planning, and settlement patterns. The transition in the last 50 years in the field adds issues of poverty and social welfare, rural politics, culture, and experiences of social groups. In our project, we focus on the rural landscape and the socioeconomic implications of land use change in agriculture, natural resource extraction, and industrialization in rural Canada. This area of study varies among different countries and our focus is not exhaustive of the research in the field. Rural lands and populations are a key part of rural geography and Canada's development. From coast to coast, Canada's agriculture sector, much of which operates in rural areas, supplies a rich diversity of crops. The agriculture industry is a key source of Canadian revenue and is vital to local communities. Agriculture is a changing sector in Canada. With more technology, globalization, and less small-scale operations, farmers are needing to adapt as they feel pressured to accommodate. Farmers' mental health and livelihoods are an important element of rural and social geography research in the modern day. Farmland makes up about half of the land area of the Greater Golden Horseshoe, Canada's most populated and fastest growing region. The Greenwell Plan protects farmland within countryside areas and Ontario's Greater Golden Horseshoe from any sort of development, ensuring the future of farming in this region. Researchers have found the importance of not only the biophysical environment in rural areas of the Greater Golden Horseshoe, but also that the Greenbelt Plan protects farmers' livelihoods and Ontarians' health. Outside the Greenbelt and in other rural areas in Canada, preserving farmland is less certain. An additional issue that arises in rural geography in Canada is the remote communities that are secluded from city centres who have limited opportunities for agriculture and face issues such as food insecurity. These remote communities' economies are often based on resource extraction. Van Wagner, a professor at York University whose research is in the field of natural resource management, describes working rural landscapes as buffer zones between industrial landscapes and protected environments. An abundance of research exists on the stressors resource-dependent communities have faced, such as job loss and economic crashes since the economy restructured away from large resource extraction operations. Options such as diversifying resource-dependent economies to include things like tourism are present in the literature. When talking about rural development and land use in rural geography, it's crucial to include impacts of land rights holders. Indigenous communities' perspectives and insights are integral to rural land use change that prioritizes environmental stewardship and sustainability. Indigenous nations are vital to growing rural communities and the Canadian economy. Investing in rural communities provides more opportunities for growth and diversification. Rural communities are essential to Canada's prosperity and the Canadian experience. Rural geography is the study of rural people, lifestyles, and the physical rural environment. These rural areas are what thousands of people call home.